Hi, I'm Pam East, and today we're going to talk about preparing metals for enameling. Before you can enamel a surface, you have to clean it. And I developed a product called Prenamel that is non-toxic. I wanted something that you could eat it. It doesn't taste very good, um, <laughs> but it is all food grade materials. And this is going to clean our metal so that it's ready for enamel. The problem with Un uncleaned metal or unprepared metal is that the water wants to bead up on the surface. Um, and this is true whether it's copper or silver. You can see how it just beads right up. And if the water is pulling away from the edges, your enamel is going to pull away from the edges. So let's go ahead and clean this up so that that doesn't happen. And you'll see pretty quickly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put a little of the pre-namel on there, and this should be warm water or hot water. Um, that makes it work better. And I am using a Scotch-Brite pad to, um, I'm not only cleaning the surface, I am lightly abrading the surface. All right, so now when I bring up now when I bring this up, you can see instead of beading, it's just sheeting on the surface. And that's what we wanted to see. Let me do the same thing with the copper. Oops, if I can, get, if I can pick it up. There we go. And I'm going to put a little of this prenamel on there. Now make sure that you keep the lid closed and don't allow any water to get into the jar because um, it will get gummy. So you want to keep it dry um, until you're sprinkling it on your piece. And there you can see that now instead of beating, okay, so I got a little bit of pull here at the corner. That means that corner needs to be cleaned a little bit better. Um, you don't want any pull. If, it, if you do, as I said, your enamel is going to pull away as well. So if you ever are putting enamel and it pulls away from an edge, you probably got your thumb on it or something and got a little oil there or didn't clean it well enough. Try not to touch these pieces except for by the edges once they're cleaned. There we go. Now it's sheeting beautifully and we're not getting any beading. And that's what we wanted to see. Going back to the silver piece, I do have texture on this side. And I can clean this as well, um, but I am going to have to get into it with a toothbrush afterwards. So I'll get in there and I'll, I'll give it a good scrub. But I need to make sure I get all of the pre out of the texture. And I would rinse this under clear water. I would not put it into a bowl full of, um, full of pre -namel. <laughs> I would go ahead and rinse it at the sink. But I would come with a toothbrush and running water and really clean it out to make sure that there is no um, pre enamel left in there that's going to burn. And you're not going to see the sheeting or beading on a textured surface. You just kind of have to trust that it's working. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Your pieces are now ready for enamel. I developed this product for enameling, however, it is also a terrific general purpose metal cleaner. You can use it on copper, you can use it on bronze, you can use it on any of your metals to get them cleaned up. I have another video on general purpose metal cleaning that you can reference, and I'll see you next time.